Its pincer-like teeth are grinding with hunger. Thousands of wriggling tentacles are groping around for its next meal. Meet the basket star. It lives in the cold waters around Chile and from the Arctic to Massachusetts. And it could be the closest thing we have to a real-life kraken. How does it catch and eat its prey? What happens when you chop one of its arms off? And could you be its next victim? Hold steady as we sail into the sea monster's lair. The basket star is a yellowish or brown echinoderm like a starfish. But it doesn't look like one. Its five arms subdivide into as many as 5,000 branch tips, like a tree. Some people think those subdividing arms look more like the weave of a basket, so it's called a basket star. They remind other people of the terrible snake-haired sisters in Greek mythology, the Gorgons. Gorgonocephalus, its scientific genus name, is inspired by that likeness. You won't turn to stone when you see this star creature, but could you turn into its next meal? We'll answer that in a bit. Keep you hanging. Its branch tips converge into a center where you'll see a star-shaped mouth. Its teeth-like structures look like a fine-tooth comb. Measuring up to 70 centimeters across, basket stars are the largest type of brittle stars living in our oceans. You could run into one at subtidal depths during a dive around New Zealand, but to observe the deeper dwelling basket stars, you'd need to travel to depths of 1,200 meters or more. Basket stars have tiny tube feet that push food into their mouths. Yep, those feet aren't meant for walking. Instead, they use their five arms to crawl through water. A distressed basket star pulls in its five arms and curls up into a ball. Ten slits, or bursae, around its body contain both the gills and reproductive organs. The most important use of the basket star's incredibly branched arms is catching prey. When hunting its favorite meal of zooplankton, it attaches itself to a rock or other hard surface and spreads its arm out like a fan. It uses its hooked arm tips to snag its prey and immediately rolls them into mucus strings. Yummy! Then it curls all that into its star-shaped mouth, where its teeth-like structures comb everything towards its stomach. You are not small and tasty enough to become a basket star's next meal, so you can safely lay that nightmare to rest. Hey, what would happen if a basket star lost one of its arms in a gory accident? Like most echinoderms, it has no blood. So it wouldn't be like an episode of Game of Thrones. This sea creature will regenerate its lost limb right down to its last spine and hook. How does this regeneration work? Well, we don't fully understand it, but we know that the cells surrounding the amputation change into stem cells. New buds and tubular structures appear and start extending into a new limb. A basket star can regenerate all types of specialized cells, including connective tissue, muscle cells, even neurons, to recreate the limit lost. But sometimes, basket stars regenerate limbs that are not very similar to the lost limb. Scientists wonder if basket stars could really be an early type of starfish that developed abnormally regenerated limbs. And since they aren't vain creatures, those early starfish might have decided to take it all in their stride and adapt. Their fallen off limbs don't go to waste, though. This is an effective way for basket stars to reproduce asexually. You heard that right. Basket stars can simply hack away parts of their bodies and clone themselves into more basket stars. Genius. When there are enough potential mates around, they will attempt sexual reproduction. And that's an equally bizarre process. First, they test their surroundings of optimum temperature, currents, and make sure there are no predators. When the oceans are rocking, you don't want anyone coming and knocking. Then the male and female basket stars simply release their sperm and eggs into a column of water and swim away, trusting their reproductive output to figure out the rest. This is called broadcast spawning. Like basket stars, starfish can also clone themselves and broadcast spawn, growing 5,000 branches on their arms and making babies by hacking their limbs off is what basket stars do. And that's why they're crazy creatures.